All right, I'm just uh, record a little demo, um, mostly for technical feedback from a few folks on my port of the $1 Unistroke recognizer to Unity. Um, there's a lot more work to do on this in terms of saving the files and loading from files and all the things I would need to do to integrate it in the game. So this is just kind of a tech demo. So I'm going to fire this up here. Basically, the way this works right now is I have a little quad here, and I'm going to hold the mouse button down, and I'm going to make a stroke, and it's going to add that to the recognizer. So it's just adding one stroke right now and not saving it to a file and loading it and so on. And then we're going to make a bunch of gestures, and it's going to give us a confidence score as to how close the gesture is. So if I, for example, make a check mark, it's going to add that to the gesture list. And now if I make other check marks, it's going to give me a score. That's a four. That's a three. That is a four. That's a three. It can get really high scores sometimes. Um, but like, for example, if I make a circle, that's a two. It's below a threshold. So I need to play with the numbers and figure out the threshold. I think in porting this, I probably reduced the accuracy some. Um, but it looks pretty, pretty accurate as far as these things go. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. So that's an opposite direction. This is a V, which sometimes looks like a check mark, but is sometimes below the threshold. Um, so yeah, got to play with it. Uh, I'll give you another example here. My cat just uh, wandered onto the mouse pad to help out. Um, I'm going to make a circle here, starting from the left. And then I'm going to make a bunch of other circles. And the recognizer is basically like, yeah, those are circles. But that's not, that's not, that's not. A half arc isn't. A partial arc is, which is sufficient, because we're cool with, um, you know, reasonably uh, tolerant um, examples. And it seems to, you know, not really care too much about the size. The, the, bigger, the bigger sizes don't recognize as well, so smaller gestures are better, which is nice as well. Try a couple others here. Um, I haven't done anything too fancy yet, but here's kind of a J. So if I make a line, that's not a J. If I do this, that's not a J. But if I do this, that's actually kind of a J. Um, let's make a G, and it's going to say, nope, no way. So there you go. There's the, uh, the $1 Unistroke recognizer. Um, I'd like to add gesture controls to my game. And uh, I took a look at some of what was out there um, in terms of gesture recognizers. And they were very much focused on like tap and slide and swipe and all these basic stuff. And I was looking to actually you know, have um, kind of um, these sort of unistroke um, custom object gestures programmed into the game. So spend some time, did a port. Here we go. Thanks.